Hey there, welcome back to this follow-up tutorial on our STM32 user driver. In the previous tutorial, we basically built a simple user driver. And to demonstrate that, we use an LDR attached to our nuclear board here. And we are getting data from the LDR through the nuclear and sending over the serial. And we're getting the data display on party terminal here and also on the teratem terminal so if you want to know more about this user driver tutorial please watch tutorial 16 on our series of stm32 coding for everyone in this tutorial as promised i'm going to now show you how you can get the data being collected from the ldr here sending over the serial right using the stm32 virtual terminal with our a user driver here and we now want to get this data that is now available on the serial port and save it using uh, a python script basically you want to create a simple python uh, data logger where we can get the data and save it into a csv file or excel file for further analysis now a typical application where this will be useful is where you want to monitor the light level in a particular area in a room or somewhere you want to see uh, the the light level progression throughout the day right for instance when i put my hand here you can see when i cover the ldr you can see the count is going down right so this is an indication that the ldr is not receiving enough light anymore because it is very sensitive to light so if i increase the light level in this room you can see the count is now exceeding 2000 okay so when i reduce the light level again and bring my hand over you get the picture okay so this can uh so by creating a data logger here with a date stamp or a time stamp you can basically uh, get a plot that will tell you at each instant of the day this is the light level for a particular area okay great now enough of that now to do this we're going to basically use a python script and we're going to use four principal modules so to follow along please make sure you've got python installed uh, into your machine and you've got the latest python shell idle here i've got a 3.13 you can also have an older version but make sure if it's python 3 it's not very old okay so we're going to use four principal module to basically get this script going so the first script is the pi serial script okay so make sure you got pi serial installed so if you want to check whether pi serial is installed you can try importing it using the python shell here import serial you can see there is no error that means i've got pi serial already installed the next one is import csv the csv is installed import date time the date time is installed import uh what's the next one the regular expression it is also installed now if i try to use something that's not installed let's say import mat plot lub right i know i don't have this module installed and if i hit enter you can see the module not found error will be thrown at me because i don't have it installed so make sure you've got these four module installed now to install them let us assume that you've got your python script already or your python ide already installed and if you open your command prompt and ensuring that you did allow Python to basically uh, install or set up a Python into your main path, your environment variable path, okay? So having said that, if you hit pub, your system is going to detect that pub is installed and it will give you a bunch of command where uh, basically say, uh, uh, telling you how you can use pub, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and say pub install pi serial okay now i know i already have pi serial installed so pep is going to check here and is going to return me that well the requirement already satisfies so you already have it installed and it tell me already the location where it is 
install so what you need to do is to basically do pop install all these four modules that we basically going to use here now having said that let's now go ahead and create a new file here okay and in this new file the first thing now this is where we basically going to write our python script so the first thing we're going to go ahead and import our module here so we're importing the csv file okay and we're importing the serial that will basically help us to handle the serial data and this will help us to basically save data onto a csv file or, or create a csv file and the date time obviously for the timestamp and the regular expression just for manipulating the data now the next thing we're going to do is to basically configure our serial port here so i'm going to go ahead and create a variable name ser and this variable will basically configure serial com8 and give it a board rate of 19200 because i know party here is getting my ldr data here at a board rate of 19200 so i need to pass the same here now the next thing we need to do here is to create the csv file okay so i'm going to go ahead and say well csv underscore file name the file name will be ldr underscore data dot csv okay so that's now been created now the next thing after we've created the csv file we then need to go ahead and open it or initialize the csv file and set up already the columns names so that we can be ready to start saving these uh, data that is now available into our serial uh, line here okay so i'm going to go ahead and open the csv data by saying with open csv underscore file name that's a file name that we just open there we open it okay and we going to basically move on to a new line so we basically going to write the data okay that is using the csv that writer so that will be on every new line the data that will be coming now after doing this the next thing is now to basically uh, go over our serial port read our serial port and extract the data save the data and close the serial port so to do that we're going to do a try accept and finally so this just ensure that our script uh does not crash here okay so in the try block we've got a while loop we're going to run an infinite loop here basically we're going to run forever so long as the data will continue flowing from our serial port okay so having said that we then going to then say okay in the while loop if cell that in waiting is greater than zero now remember cell represent the serial port that we defined there okay then we're going to say okay if that is true that basically mean we're gonna go inside the if statement here then we're gonna say line now this is now the variable that will read the data on the serial string so we're going to decode it okay we're gonna decode it using the utf8 here and we're going to ignore any errors and we're going to strip away data now after we do that now remember sometimes the serial data buffer might contain some gibberish garbage data that we don't want to save okay so to avoid saving debris you can extract exactly what you need this is where we're doing this match here using the regular expression search and we're going to search ldr row data the line that contain ldr row data now we know that our data every line will contain ldr row data followed by this column here and the data itself okay so we want to basically extract uh, the data from that line okay once we get a match we're basically going to say well if we get a match then we're going to say ldr data will basically be matched at group one that will basically mean we're going to extract a numeric value that is the raw data then the next thing is to get a timestamp we get a timestamp by just extracting from the date time module there Date time that now we strip the time so we're going to now pass this value here that basically mean the year month date and the hour 
minutes and seconds. Then the next line is to basically call a function, write to CSV file, and we pass a timestamp and the LDR data. Okay, then we're going to print just to display on our Python shell. Okay, then we go to the exception here, right? Now, in case of an exception, now this is a keyboard interrupt. So here we can basically end the logging by hitting a control C to basically interrupt our logging. And then finally, right, when that happened, we can then close the serial communication. Okay, now, if we run this now, we're going to go into some problem. The first problem being that uh, the COM port here is not available to us. Party is already using it, so we need to close party. The second problem is the write to CSV file function is not yet uh, been defined, haven't yet been defined, so we need to define that function. Okay, so this is where we're going to go ahead and define the function to write the data into the CSV file. So it basically take the variable timestamp LDR and the function will basically just open the file name and write how it data on every row, basically on every new line. Okay, so that means we're going to record every changes that's going to happen on the data each instant of the time that we'll be saving the data. So this is basically all we need for these uh, uh, Python script that are logger here. So I'm going to go ahead and close party here. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and save this file before we run it. Let's first save it into a location of our choosing here. So I want to save it here. So I'm going to go ahead and pass the file name so i'm going to say data logger okay basically just data logger let's make keep things simple here okay now the logger have been saved now before we run this uh data logger here let's now uh, first bring the location where we've saved this data okay so as you can see this is where we've saved our data logger here we've closed party Great. Now let's go ahead and run our Python script here. So as soon as we start this module Python script here, we're going to see the file uh, LDR underscore data that CSV must be saved in the same location where we've got our Python script here. So let's go ahead and run the Python module. There we go. There we go. Okay. So you can see we've got the date and the time. So the data is being saved. And if you look at the file size here, it's one kilobyte. Okay. Now, when I click on it, you can see, you can see that the size is actually increasing. Okay. You can see the size is increasing. So this basically means if you're going to run a logger over a 24 hours period, this uh, LDR data size of the file is going to increase up to a, a couple of megabytes. Okay. So it's going to be big okay so that will basically mean a couple of thousands of line that of data that you need to process okay so that basically how you can get data from your stm32 using your usart driver sending data over the serial and now collecting it using your python data logger okay now if i close now this as you can see that it is very much working here now let's go ahead and close it now and open our LDR uh, CSV file that is now already 7 kilobyte here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and close this and double click to open this. There we go. As you can see here, we basically got our timestamp. Okay, and we've got the LDR row data column and that's a timestamp column. So if you go down, you can see we already got 256 line of data that we've got here and it's been logging it. You can see here when I put my hand over the LDR, you can see the count here went down. Okay. At an instant and that was also saved onto the CSV file. Everything here is exactly safe over the CSV file. Now you can have this kind of application running, as I've said earlier, put it outside, 
uh, just have your nuclear board or whatever you have running logging it like this and you can plot a nice curve that will show you the light level progression throughout the day as a sign rise and sign set and you'll be able to see all that uh, into your plot so this is it guys for this tutorial i hope you found it useful please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel until next time cheers